In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video walkthrough video like this one. Okay, that's it about the preview. And let's go to the virtual tour that uh, this one is one of our listing in Forney. Okay, so what you will need is you will have to create, um, you will have to get a um, quick time player. Okay, and right now I'm recording with uh, quick time but I want to show you how it goes. You pull this up and then you will have QuickTime uh, player up here. This is for uh, Mac right now and I think it works same with uh, Windows computers and we will record the screen and what you will have to do is you have to get your um, bookmarks here disappear so we don't want the bookmarks i think it's a right click remove just uncheck the bookmark tools because we want the biggest screen possible for the video and also don't put it to full screen because it will stop you from uh, using the controls so just drag out the sides to the size of your screen like that okay and the trick to it is that if you if I don't have if I didn't give you a play button here because that's extra work for me so if you guys want to create this video let me know and I can add the play button here we will play this walkthrough and we will record the screen at the same time so let's make this disappear because we will have to crop out everything where we have uh, something else that the, than the video okay so we just want the screen as clean as possible so then you will go to QuickTime player you will go and click on the new screen recording and when you click on it I, I cannot because right now I am recording actually this is the little sign up there that my, my screen is recording but when you click new screen recording a play button or a recording red button will uh, show up on your screen and then you click the red button and it will tell you to click on the screen when you want to start um, recording okay so once you're record once you are recording the screen you're going to start play and move your cursor out of the uh, view of the the screen and let it play so right now it's playing automatically. I'm not moving with my cursor. I'm just letting it uh, auto play. And I'm going to speed this up so we don't watch the whole thing right now because that's not the purpose of the video. So I'll get back to you as soon as it's recorded. It's finished recording. So now, now it's done recording and um, you will click this black button here and it will ask you to save the video. I'm not going to do that now because it will stop my tutorial. So once that's done, you will get out of here, save your video and go to iMovie. And let's create a new library. I'm just going to go a new event and I'm going to call this 3D Dunhill. This is the street name. Okay. So I have the new directory for the video and I have to bring that recording in. And I'm just going to drag it in because it's much easier. I have it under so stopper agents here we go 
So I have the video and I will drag it down to the timeline, okay? This is actually the whole tutorial that you're watching right now from the beginning, but I'm just gonna cut the part where we start recording. So this is the actual uh, walkthrough, okay? So as you can see, this is the whole video. But the problem that we have right now is that we have the entire browser up here and the controls at the bottom that we don't want in the video. So we will have to crop this, okay? So we go here and we will do the crop and um, hold the shift uh, down it will help you to stay the same uh, ratio aspect ratio on all sides and, and when you release the mouse you can release the shift so you can see that I came down below the browser and I'm gonna do the opposite corner I press shift and I will move it in so I don't see any of the controls right here okay and that's it let's click play so now we cropped the video it will only show the actual video like you are filming this and uh, as you saw it in my um, let's get out of here you saw it in my video that I also had my picture on here so just let me show you real quick from the other video that I did uh, I don't know if I okay so I'm just gonna drag this is a PNG file okay I'm just gonna drag it into the timeline and in order for this to be transparent behind me I'm gonna go up here and I will say picture in picture and I'll get your picture done for you in a PNG that you can use here in the same way. So now we can drag the picture around on the screen and then we can make it as large as we want. Bring it out a little bit more. And then you just put it wherever you want your photo to be, okay? And with your mouse, go down to this, the timeline and drag it all the way to the end. So that way you can brand yourself during the entire length of the video. And uh, we can also add some titles. I will choose this one. I drag it down to the timeline. I need more space so I can show it to you. There we go. There we go right here and then I'm gonna type you can type your name or private showing or whatever you want private showing and put your phone number there and put your name and then when it's too large just highlight it and then you can change the the size of the font down up here just uh, when I, when you're done editing make sure you click outside of it and that way it will save it okay so right now it's only at the beginning again if I want this to be there for the entire length of the video I just drag it out all the way oh, actually at the end I want to pause the video right there where it stops let's see I'm moving back with the cursor it's not okay here we go it stopped here uh, control B is the shortcut to cut the the video and then you have to click uh, control backspace oh just backspace I'm sorry and then adjust the your photo and your title to the length of the video okay 
So now it's playing the entire length. And uh, what we can also do, add the, the music, and uh, if you have the music file, you can find music on Facebook as well as uh, YouTube uh, Creator Studio and uh, just search for uh, free download YouTube, a uh, free music download Creator Studio and on YouTube and then you, it will take you there and you can listen um, to the songs or, or music uh, tracks that they have. Just follow the the guidelines because some will require you to always uh, give credit to the musician or the composer and it's a good idea to keep in mind how, how long your video is like in this case this is one minute and ten uh, seconds so when you add your video I mean your your music and I'm just gonna I think this one is a music track here hold on okay so I already have one I'm just gonna drag it down here okay and one thing that I want you guys to keep in mind that this is very loud and I don't know how much you can hear it but you want to uh, lower the volume a little bit so let's cut it to length uh, control uh, B I mean it's command B actually Let's delete this part and let me make it larger. You see now, now when I move my cursor over, there's a little um, bubble that shows up on that uh, music line and then you can just move it in so it will actually uh, fade out. okay it faded out and then click on on the music track go up here actually to, to this one to the volume and just lower it down to at least half so when people start watching it they don't get distracted with the music and a lot of times we like the music, uh, what we pick, but other people don't like. So try to go with elevator music. I know it sounds lame, but the more neutral the song is, uh, more people will just uh, tolerate it at a lower volume. Uh, try to stay away from actual songs where people are singing out words. And that's my dog making noise, Harlika. And... Um, and that's it so now the video is ready to render and that's my dog again I just like to go back to the projects because it, it here it will save it I'm just saving it as test because this is not uh, I, I should do this for Agnes but I I have to get her uh, photo ready okay so now this is ready I just don't want the computer to go with all that extra memory before I you know that's why I save it so now I have my video ready it starts at the front of the house and at the end it fades out okay also guys one thing that I like you to do and uh, try to start uh, doing that uh, advertising guidelines from Trek are very strict so at the end of the video I insert another uh, title and I just put equal housing opportunity at the end just insert all the information of the brokerage so let's just do it now I'm gonna go to this scrolling credits I drag it here to the end and it's kind of weird because we will have to change it a little bit and here you can go with something like contact and you put your name and then this whole thing here we will have to delete just leave one letter so we don't lose the form the format of this thing here sorry
and now I can delete the first N and then you put her phone number sorry I don't know her number from the top of my head okay and then in insert your email address if you have a website or or you have your Facebook you can put that and at the end um, put broker so stopper realty and our address let's have that information at the very end of the video and if you didn't want to do the equal housing opportunity at the end uh, the way I had it on mine you can put it in here again it just has to be in in there okay all right again remember to click outside because otherwise it will not save it and now we have scrolling credits in the back okay leave that there you can even add um, if you want to add your uh, copyright you can do that at the end and then put your name okay all right so this is it from here you just go file share file actually you can pick uh, a nice screen where you would like the the thumbnail to show up and, and it works most of the times so I put the browse the the timeline I, I put my mouse here I lift up my mouse and now I go file share image oh I mean file share file not image okay so you see now it picked the same uh, thumbnail for the video and then you click next and your video is done let me know if you guys want to create this video for your listings then i will create the automated tour in um, matterport and um, i think if you can follow this video step by step you you will be able to do it all right thank you